Jenny Ponko, get started. So the topic today is engraving, and you, you can well first starters. You can engrave metal, you can engrave uh, glass, you can engrave plastic, acrylics, and today this workshop topic of this workshop is engraving acrylics. And normally you can find acrylics, for example, uh, side of your case. You have a window there, and it looks kind of plain without any interesting images on it, and We'll try to do, uh, learn how to do an interesting looking image there and how to light it up so it looks something like what I have done already there. So the main thing that you need for that is an engraver. There are, there are Dremel rotary tools that have this spinning bit that people normally used uh, like a couple of years back, but now there's this new tool that works like a tattoo gun. It action is like up and down. So it doesn't, for example, in rotary tool, if you are doing uh, the line, because the tool is rotary, follow the line and doesn't try to take you anywhere. Well, that's not entirely true because if you, there's a line and you cross it, it might try to go along that previous line, but well, you have to be prepared for that. Don't laugh. You know, you'll learn soon. So, uh, this is what you need. Also, a piece of acrylic. We have these smaller pieces for the demonstration purposes. You have a window inside of your case, or you could make a... I know this one guy from Norway that made a door, a whole door that used to be a glass on the door. You use this on computers, you can make a nice rose and I love you message for your girlfriend and give it to her for her birthday or something like that. So it's quite a useful technique for many things. Okay, adjusting. Okay, better. So, um, you usually, uh, I hope, you have an image in mind that you would like to have engraved. And, well, I have some images here. I'll, well, I'll do to Mario for the demonstration here. People can, in this workshop, you can pick whatever image you want. If you a good drawing, you throw something up and let's try that. ...of the image. Uh, in this demonstration we have these light bars. There's a LED strip inside there. So I'll be placing the piece so that there are some space at the bottom. So when I slot it there, it doesn't block any of the engraving that I've done. So just use tape. The same method is actually valid for cases or any, any size image. I've done this workshop several times in Finland, actually, and there are several people that have just came with their own, own side panels and just started engraving them. So it's pretty easy thing to do. So, uh, additional tool that we need or should use, because you can do it straight from that, but there's a neat trick with the light uh, as you can see, when you put a light inside the acrylic, it bounces around there, and when it finds a uh, scratch on the acrylic, it changes direction outside the acrylic. So, it's same here, same thing here with the flashlight. I'll put it on the side. You can see the light comes out from the sides. And when I make the first line, you'll notice that it lights up instantaneously. So I know it's easier to follow what lines I have done and what lines I have not done. 
with this. You can do it without, but it's easier with the flashlight. So, you should cut the audio now. Thank you. So, uh, you get a general idea from this. You just go repeat that over and over again. And when you give it light, it will light up quite nicely. And as you notice, the hardest things to do are absolute straight lines and circles because uh, the human eye knows how the circle should go. So any imperfection there, it's, you immediately notice that. So for example, tribal logos or something like that are best because people don't usually know what lines, where the line should be. So just use your artistic vision and if there is a line that's not perfect, just continue it. It will blend with other lines. It doesn't show up. But for example, this mushroom, the circle isn't perfect, but still, it's quite usable. So, there's a basic things that you should look for when doing this. It's pretty easy, just follow the line, because the tool doesn't pull you anywhere. So, just trace the lines the best you can. There's one thing that you should try to remember. Uh, when you are looking at the image, uh, you start engraving. You are following a line. There's a, I'm using three millimeter thick uh, acrylic piece. So there's uh, some offset from the angle that I'm looking at it. So I make a line and stop somewhere. If I rotate it, the lines don't match anymore. So you should try to keep it more or less at the same place in relation to your eyes. But then again, in certain images, it doesn't matter. Just use your artistic vision and connect the lines that you are engraving. Do not follow the lines below. Just find the spot where you should continue and continue it. It doesn't have to be perfect on the line that's underneath it. So you, so you will need some artistic eye in some situations. But in general, it's just good image below. Just trace it. No, it's your turn. <laughs> Scary, huh? <laughs> so, um, these guys, uh, some of them have the pieces already. And you have the lights. Okay, there. So, the same process goes here. Can I take these? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Actually, I have a new piece for you. Uh, that's uh, scratched. Uh, There's okay. a scratch on it. So, just pull this off. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. 
your nails are probably better than mine. Yeah, just yeah I, I do that. <laughs> yeah, so say if I place it all over the computer, it's switched off. It's off. Uh, right? It's only on your own risk. There's some vibration, but... Again... Yeah, perhaps, it, yeah, you could take a picture of it and print it out and then do the engraving and, yeah. So, comments. Uh, you want to, uh, I have one machine here extra. Shall I help you now? Actually, uh, could you come over here? I have one machine here. Because you have... Uh, oh, that's good. Uh, shut here. Uh, just pick the... <laughs> bit up here. <laughs> well, just go through it and tell if you find anything interesting. Uh, I have another one there. So, take your time. Just pick something interesting. And We'll go from there. Do you sell the, the equipment online? Or? Uh, these are not mine. I have four engravers with me, and I'm not going to take them with me back home. But I'm not quite sure how I will do that. I'm not going to sell them. I probably will give them away, but I'm not quite sure how I will decide who will get them. If I want to get one at home? Uh, yeah. Because I mean, if I don't have where are you from? Spain, what Spain? Spain. Uh, there should be hardware stores. Uh, I don't know the names of them, but Dremel engravers are sold in hardware stores in general. It's like 25 euros or something like that. So just go out and buy one. That, that, like, goes like that. Yeah. yeah, it's like that. Yeah. Uh, one thing: don't press too hard. Ah, okay. Hey, hey, oh. Test it. Try it here first. You don't have uh, which side? Oh, here. So try it here first. So you don't have put the light on. You can see it better. So you don't have to press that much. Ah, I see. I see. Yeah, because the lines get pretty. Also, I'll change one thing from that. Yeah, because otherwise it was moving. Yeah. And also do uh, make it uh, do it slowly because if you go too fast, make a fast line, make one fast line. It it jumps, it it skips skips a bit. Just make slowly uh, and do not press too hard. I can give you a new piece if you want, but so it's pretty easy. Good, just take your time. Actually, I don't have. I find four flashlights. That's the problem. I told Antonio about that. Antonio gets stole a lot of things. <laughs> uh, just put it on one. That works. From above, perhaps? So she can take her uh, hand. Oh. Yeah, okay.
Oh, much better now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was also like really shaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you press too much, it's, yeah, you yeah. can use it. Yeah, yeah, but, but you are still learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. You are good. I work at Arrival. <laughs> Arrival. Well, I think it's too. I think it's too soft. Yeah. He needed it more than me. So. Slowly, slowly, slowly. If you go too fast, it starts to skip because it's it's actually getting the signal of directly from the mains. It's 50 hertz. So if you go too fast, you get skipped. So. Yeah, sure. How do you, how do you engrave large areas like, like this, for example? Yeah, uh, you can use those for that, but it takes yeah, quite a lot yeah. of time. But for larger surfaces, you should use this. I'm not quite sure if we have bits for that. Wait a moment, I'll check. Mm -hmm. Ah, we are in luck. Wait a moment. Can you run him? Just let some of the other people get a chance. Yeah, sure, why not? We can do this all night long. Yeah, I'm thinking. We want to do something else. We can always do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we use this. Uh, it's not a diamond tip because it has these uh, little uh, cutting edges. Yes. For acrylic you should use this because it removes the material. Yeah. The diamond tip just sands and it heats up and it melts. So this is the one you have to use. I'll just play with this one. Use low RPM again because if you go too fast, it will start to melt, yeah. and that's not a bad, that's not a good thing. So you just start to remove the material like that. So you you should use this for larger areas, but you'll notice that the coloring is a bit different because this doesn't go as deep as the engraver. Mm -hmm. You can try it if you want. Yeah, it's spinning, yeah. It yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know that, uh, as I can see a lot of people, when it comes to like 9 o'clock, you can tell people, um, if you want also, uh, you can go uh, to the cross tech and they can just stay in there. So what tables are there? What? No. Uh, where are there? No, 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 no. It's with tables. Uh, those ones. There's, there's lights over there. 
people can go over there if they want and if you want. Uh, okay, uh, when will those guys stop? When you stop. Ah, okay. Uh, Is there anything at before uh, after them? I don't think so. Okay. So, uh, whatever, I'm gonna just confirm you that. I don't think, I don't know if it's that one or that one, but I will tell you. Okay, well, sure, you sure. That's, that's okay. Okay. Did it work? It's quite good. Uh, actually, and if you come here, we can... Well, it's, not, uh, it's very... Yeah, actually, you have to uh, get in the rhythm so yeah. you can get the uh, depth being constant. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But uh, if you build here... We can have it. I don't need it. Yeah, sure. No, 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 just sit down there. We are in short supply of the flashlights, yeah, so, but... Yeah, okay. I don't think... Ah, okay. Excuse me, can I have this? Just flip it over, just go through it. I prefer this workshop method more. It's more interesting for me to... Yeah. Actually, I haven't done the presentation at all in ever. I always do the yeah, workshop. Well, just like some kind of policy because there's a streaming online. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are getting some material there. Really? Seems like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah it's really good material. Oh, okay. It's very visual with the lights. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, would be better if we didn't have this much light yeah. over here, but still it's okay. Because the flashlights are so bright, I brought new ones with uh, 3 watt LEDs. So although they are so powerful, it doesn't matter if there's a and light how, here. how time do they last? Well, I have tons of batteries with me, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like a few hours, not too long, but still. Nothing? There's an, another one if you want no, to go. No, I, I just have to look all of it. Ah, true. Sorry. Yep. Uh, it's a glass thing. It's an... I'll give it... The one uh, here. It's plastic, acrylic. Oh, okay. Plexiglass. Uh -huh. Plexiglass, even though it's not glass. <laughs> Yeah, but it's three millimeter. You can get it from one millimeter to like this thick if you want. But okay. I'm and using this one. This is your work, right? Yeah, this is made by me. And also that uh, there's a. You can use this one has four of these pieces mm -hmm. on top of each other, yeah. and I light each one of them in succession so I get different colors and animation. The same technique, but... Really cool. Yeah. So you can see the lead on there. Uh -huh. That's for the one layer. And there's a lead for another layer. And there's a lead for third layer. Okay. And the white leads for the dragons are there. I'll give you, uh, you have the tape, okay. You don't need to have this uh, t-shirt necessarily. Okay. It's just to soften up the surface a bit. It's a bit more silent that way, but still it's quite noisy anyway. So. It's actually so like it's more... 
Yeah, well, actually, I noticed that it isn't perfect. In, and back at back in home, I have a towel with no. Uh, you have all kind of wrinkles here because it's folded over. So it could be better if you take this off, actually. Yeah, sure. And place it, place it uh, uh, a bit more space underneath if, if you want to put it on the stand there. Uh -huh, okay. yeah. uh, take the, uh, you have to take at least one surface off. Let's take both of them off. Yeah, just to keep it in place. It doesn't matter. We can uh, can we pull more cable for you? Uh, can you move on that? And we can take the machine under the from under the table. I'll take it from here. <sighs> Better now? Yeah. Okay. It's a bit tricky, that one. Huh? Test here. It's a bit tricky. <laughs> it's an abstract painting. Yeah, it's good. You're gonna go around again, you know? Hey, people can keep that. Yeah, yeah. You can have it. I mean, yeah, if, it's, it's, if it's not a, a flashlight. <laughs> yeah, well, it's okay. It's, I think it's going on its own. In the meantime, you can play with this one and just practice before I can get you a flashlight. So just play with that one. I can do one better. Oliko hän ennen häntä? 
En tullut ajatellen, että mahtoi vähän ensin. En mä Mitä toi valo antaa vuoron perään? You should just take one out because if people see five gremlins, but there's only four flashlights, it would be like. You know, yeah, yeah, I understand. Take it so far. So. You have to keep it. <laughs> Just checking the level. Uh, okay, it's okay. Just go. And now you need to go out to, uh, for example, dealextreme.com. You know that? dx.com? Yeah. Uh, get some light strip. Yeah, she's my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I imagine, <laughs> I already thought about that. So just get this. And it's like, uh, well, two yeah, euros a meter or something okay, and you stupid. Can cut it, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, three leads uh, there. Yeah. And who did the cute use? Yeah. Peace. Like in five minutes, you, you just say goodbye yeah. to the online playing, uh, the online people seeing it, and then just tell everyone we're moving in like ten minutes over there, and they can keep with us. And if you want, so it's in your hands. <laughs> I hope so. You can tell people just go away. Nah. Go away. Nah. Yeah, you can ask for this. Ten euros each. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Sorry? Is it time over? Uh, actually, uh, you shouldn't start anything new now. We are moving at the uh, site there and we can continue there. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Cool. Ah, sure, it's okay. But uh, we are moving to the site there yeah. because we are running out of time. Yeah, no so, yeah. but just I come I there and. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And can I do only one or do two, for example? Well, I, I want one for him because he doesn't have talent at this. So. Ah. Well, let's make one first and yeah. then see how many people come yeah. in. So. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, no problem. Okay.
Yeah. How many times did you, did you do that until you got the perfect one? Actually, that's the last one that I've done, and it took like 20 minutes in an assembly in Finland. But did you do it in just one time? Did you repeat it? Yet? No, no, just one time and 20 minutes. Impressive. Yeah, it works quite easy. Oh. Yeah. Doing all the hairs and everything and not get messed up. Oh. I think it's a great job. But again, there. If you look, just looking, uh, start looking closely. You will spot mistakes, but it, they will merge in the total yeah. because you don't know where the lines should be. Yeah, but I, I don't spot any mistakes yeah, yeah. at all. Well, that's a good thing <laughs> for me at least. It looks like if you used a template or something. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. I can see a mistake. Well, okay, thank you. <laughs> Just follow the noise. You will yeah. follow the noise. <laughs> and how long will you be uh, in, not in here? Uh, on the other place? I don't know. It's in the sand. You will stop like in 10 minutes over here. When I go to sleep, I don't know. You have to eat. <laughs> so, uh, like half an hour more? Or? Yeah, for half an hour for sure, but a couple of hours perhaps. Uh, at least. Uh, yeah, 10 minutes and then we'll be there for a couple of hours, I believe. Okay. For the yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, please. Yeah, you can do that, but we are moving at the other location, at the side there. So don't start now, but come there and we'll do it. You can do it there. You can my, do it. It's my mark. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know this. <laughs> I've seen it. Just come there in a few minutes. Sorry, more, more, more slowly. Hablo español, no English. Ah, okay. Uh, we take this. Go to the side. Okay. Yeah, and just come there. Okay. okay. Did it work? It's nice. And there is one thing. Uh, yes. You should engrave on the uh, more light. You can get more light. If, if I get uh, no, no. Uh, the engraving you should do the other side, and it should be like uh, you are on the clear side, not in this side, because the light there will be stronger light towards you this way. But you have to, for example, this text. You should mirror them. Yeah. So it, you see the difference here. This is clear side to you, and if you turn it around. It's not that strong difference, but there is a difference. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. and also it's much easier to keep clean when you have the clear side towards you. So, we'll see. We'll see. I don't have too many pieces, but you should say goodbye to the camera and all that, and then to the internet streaming and all that. Okay. We should wrap up. Only one time. It's it's a bit difficult to do them several times, but.
<laughs> Last one. Just take your time. So this was the engraving workshop. Hope you. Ah, okay. Could you stop a minute? Just for me. So uh, that was an engraving workshop. Hope you enjoyed it. It, as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. The engravers cost like 25 euros a piece, so they are not that expensive. So go out, get yourself an engraver, and start doing some amazing art. Thank you. Yeah, just go ahead. <laughs>